get up and get it very, very early this morning. Dinner with the boys, boys, boys later. So the only way to get the run in today was to go early. Sun coming up. So nice out here. Love morning running. Wish I did it more. All right, nice easy 10 for Thursday morning. Like I say, I do love Melbourne morning running, but the reason I don't do it more often is because my crew train in the evenings. We're an evening training crew predominantly, and I uh, love training with the crew. It's very important. It's great for your fitness, great for the social aspect. Yeah, I wouldn't switch crews just to train in the morning. Uh -uh. Anyway, it is nice to get out early though. Do it on the weekends, but uh, it's nice to do it really early before work. The good news is I did recover well from UTA. Everything's feeling good. Jog Sunday, did my first session with the crew Tuesday. 1K reps, pulled up well. The two weeks off, that's what I'll be sticking to. I don't want to find out what the medium is between the six day rest where I got injured and the two weeks where I haven't been getting injured on the comeback, which has worked twice now. I'll be sticking her at. Mainly you can't walk for the first five days, so that's got a bit to do with it. But in general, yeah, it's really important to make sure you get back to training without incident. Good morning, worthwhile, as it is a nice, cold, rainy Saturday morning. And I decided to pop down to Albert Park Park Run for a little trot around, plenty of heads, always a big crowd down here. So let's go and have some fun. Woo! Okay, good little push there. Came in just under 20 minutes. Still, you know, if I really aim for it, I'm sure I can PB this soon, this distance of 5K. I'll uh, really set myself for it soon. And, you know, I think I can go close to 19 minutes on a good day, but gotta make it happen before I can talk it up too much. But yeah, big crowd even on a rainy day. There's heaps of people and it's always massive at Albert Park. Anyway, we'll do some more Ks on the way home. Good day. 100, 100 park runs for Tim. Congratulations, mate. Selfie time. <laughs> worth while as I just wanted to quickly talk about a new pair of shoes that I've got I'm excited to test these out I haven't worn them yet but the hardest part about getting my hands on these shoes was the ordering and the delivery of them absolute debacle a pair of Mizuno's that came from our yeah very good friends at Mizuno they're a long time sponsor of the Crosby crew so they take very good care of us so this is with full respect to the Mizuno people but it was their choice of couriers that did not suit me at all. It was an absolute nightmare getting these shoes delivered. Do you think it was a pretty straightforward piece of work for a courier company, but apparently not. I went through all sorts of outrageous communications, emails, complaints. It's a long story that I won't bore you with, but uh, I don't know if you ever had any dealings with couriers, please. If you can avoid it, make sure you do. They're a shocking organization. You'll see online, there's about 10,000 one-star reviews of just nightmare experiences. And you know, like I say, Mizuno, full respect, but if you're choosing them because they're cheap, I would suggest for the brand protection, maybe think about some other alternatives for the deliveries. I'm pretty sure the name Curious Please came from their customers begging them to do their job. Just be couriers, please. Anyway, long story. I finally got my hands on these. These are the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pros. They're extremely light. Look at this heel that isn't there. It's a, kind of like a missing heel. It's part of their design. This is like a speed track shoe. Um, really, really light. There's this huge sort of cavernous carve out in the sole. Yeah, I mean, look, they're designed for people that run a lot faster than I do. But anyway, I'm gonna give them a go. I got them at a, at a good price with a, a voucher and a yeah, crew discount. So that's gonna be nice. I'm looking forward to trying these out. They're obviously a speed shoe for like races and, and like fast track work. And you can see there's a real big chunky bit of the sole in the middle and then um, yeah, a real carve out at the back as well. So anyway, that's the Wave Rebellion Pros. Finally got them after months of begging and pleading and thankfully Mizuno themselves, I went back to them and they sorted it out and got these to me. But yeah, curious please, thumbs down. That's the new shoe. I'll let you know how they go once I try them out. So looking forward to that. Okay, heading out for a Sunday longish. The watch told me, don't run today, have a rest. 
but I like to rage against the machine. So <laughs> we're going anyway. I'm gonna head up the upfield, come back down on Merry Creek. They're just a quiet 15, nothing, nothing fancy. And that'll be uh, yeah, good first week back at training. while as I've stuffed up my consistency but recovery came back to training for one week then I got sick and Mac and I both had coughs and colds so we're still just trying to exercise the demons out aren't we baby yep. <laughs> but we're getting there we're just running around won't be long till we're starting to look a bit more seriously at Melbourne Mara build up so just getting the uh, getting the sickness done now we thought that might be timely and then we can be nice and healthy and fresh and fit. But yeah, so we're just doing some easy case today. Pretty nice, this winter's been easy on us so far. Quite still and mild, so just enjoying that while we can. Mm -hmm. 